পড়ছে মিষ্টি সুরে Emily, clutching her worn copy of Pride and Prejudice, navigated the bustling school hallway. She turned a corner, her thoughts lost in the world of Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy. Suddenly, she collided with a solid figure, sending her book tumbling to the floor. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. A warm, apologetic voice reached her ears. Emily looked up, meeting the gaze of a boy with kind eyes and a disarming smile. He bent down, retrieving her book. It's okay, I wasn't paying attention. She mumbled, feeling her cheeks flush. Their fingers brushed as he handed her the book. A jolt of electricity seemed to pass between them, leaving Emily breathless. I'm Jack, he said, still holding her gaze. Emily, she replied, her heart pounding. And in that instant, amidst the chaos of the school hallway, their story began. Music became the language of their burgeoning love. Emily, with her soulful voice, and Jack, with his guitar, found solace and expression in melody and lyrics. They would spend hours in Jack's garage, the air thick with the scent of old leather and guitar strings, creating their own world of harmonies and shared dreams. Emily loved the way Jack's fingers danced across the fretboard, his passion for music evident in every note he played, and Jack cherished the way Emily's voice, clear and pure, could transport them to another realm. Their laughter echoed through the small space, a testament to the joy they found in each other's company. Weekends were spent exploring hidden cafes, attending local concerts, or simply lounging in the park, lost in their own world. Emily loved Jack's adventurous spirit, his eagerness to try new things, and his ability to find beauty in the ordinary. He in turn was captivated by her kind heart, her infectious laugh, and the way her eyes sparkled with intelligence and warmth. Their love story was a tapestry woven with shared passions, laughter, and an unspoken understanding that transcended words. Their journey wasn't without its bumps. Arguments flared, fueled by insecurities and misunderstandings. There were times when silences stretched between them, filled with unspoken doubts and fears. Emily, with her tendency to overthink, would retreat into herself, while Jack, unsure how to navigate the choppy waters of their emotions, would seek solace in his music. But even in their disagreements, there was a deep-seated love and respect that bound them together. They learned to communicate, to apologize, to forgive. Each challenge they overcame only strengthened their bond, proving that their love was worth fighting for. They realized that love wasn't about perfection, but about accepting each other's flaws and supporting each other through thick and thin. And so they weathered the storms together, emerging stronger and more in love than ever before. Life, as it often does, threw them a curveball. Jack's family had to move across the country due to his father's job. The news hit them like a ton of bricks, shattering their carefully constructed world. The thought of being separated from Jack, her anchor, her confidant, sent Emily spiraling into despair. As the day of his departure drew closer, a heavy silence descended upon them, a stark contrast to their usual banter and laughter. Unable to articulate the turmoil in her heart, Emily poured her soul into a letter. She wrote about their first meeting, their shared dreams, their laughter and their tears. She wrote about the pain of their impending separation and the hope that their love would withstand the distance. Each word was a testament to the depth of her love for Jack, a love that transcended physical distance. With trembling hands, she slipped the letter into his backpack the night before he left, hoping he would feel the weight of her unspoken words. Section 5. A Promise Etched in Time The day of Jack's departure dawned cold and gray, mirroring the emotions that churned within Emily. Standing on the train platform, she clung to him, her tears soaking his shirt. I love you, Emily, he whispered his voice thick with emotion. Don't ever forget that. I love you too, Jack. She choked out, her heart shattering with every passing second. As the train pulled away, Emily stood frozen, her gaze fixed on Jack's receding figure. He looked back at her, his eyes filled with a promise. A promise to stay connected, to keep their love alive despite the miles separating them. In that moment, they made a silent vow to fight for their love, to nurture it across the miles, and to find their way back to each other no matter the obstacles that stood in their path. Section 6. The Bittersweet Symphony of Separation 
The initial days, weeks, and months following Jack's departure were excruciating. Emily found solace in his letters, each one a lifeline, a tangible reminder of their enduring bond. They poured their hearts out on paper, sharing their joys, their sorrows, and their dreams for the future. Technology was different then. Calls were expensive, reserved for special occasions. Their letters became their lifeline, filled with longing and hope. Emily threw herself into her studies, finding purpose and distraction in her academic pursuits. She joined the school choir, her voice soaring, carrying her emotions, her longing for Jack. She made new friends, cherished the moments of laughter and camaraderie. Yet, a part of her always felt incomplete, a piece of her heart forever residing in another state with Jack. Section 7. Echoes of the Past. Years passed. Filled with new experiences, challenges, and triumphs, Emily excelled in her studies, graduated with honors, and pursued a career in journalism, her words finding a voice in the bustling city. She made new friends, experienced the excitement of a new city, yet the memory of Jack, their shared dreams, their love story remained etched in her heart. She had dated, had even allowed herself to care for someone else, but it wasn't the same. The depth of connection, the effortless understanding, the way her heart ached for him, it was unique to Jack. He was her first love, the one who held a piece of her heart, a piece she knew she could never reclaim, no matter how hard she tried. Section 8. A Love That Transcends Time One day, while sifting through old boxes in her attic, Emily stumbled upon a box filled with memories of her time with Jack. Old photographs, movie ticket stubs, dried flowers, and a stack of letters tied neatly with a faded blue ribbon. With trembling hands, she untied the ribbon and began reading. Each word penned in Jack's familiar handwriting transported her back to a time of innocence, of shared dreams, and a love that knew no bounds. As she read his words, she realized that the years might have changed them, molded them into different versions of themselves, but the essence of their love, the connection they shared, remained untouched by time. It was a love that transcended physical distance, a love that lived on in memories and whispered promises. Section 9. The Unfolding of Fate Driven by a surge of emotions and an inexplicable pull, Emily booked a flight to Jack's hometown. She had to see him, to know if the embers of their love could be rekindled, if fate would be kind enough to grant them a second chance. As she stood on his doorstep, her heart pounding against her ribs, she realized that some loves never truly die. They simply hibernate, waiting for the right moment to resurface. The door opened, revealing a man who, while bearing the familiar traces of the boy she once loved, now possessed the air of a life lived, of experiences that had shaped and molded him. Their eyes met, and in that instant, time seemed to stand still. The years melted away, and they were back in that high school hallway, two souls colliding, recognizing something special something rare in each other's eyes. Section 10, Finding Solace in Memories. They spent the next few days catching up, sharing stories of their lives, their triumphs, and their heartbreaks. There was a comfortable familiarity between them, a shared history that bound them together, even after all these years. They visited their old haunts, the park where they shared their first kiss, the cafe where they spent countless hours talking and laughing, each place held a memory, a testament to their enduring love. As they talked, they realized that life had taken them on different paths. Yet, there was still a connection, an undeniable spark that flickered between them. They acknowledged the bittersweet reality that their lives were no longer intertwined, that the timing was off. Yet, they found solace in the knowledge that they had shared something special, something rare and precious. Section 11, Love's Enduring Embrace. As Emily boarded her flight back home, a sense of peace washed over her. She carried with her the memories of their time together, the reaffirmation that some loves, like theirs, never truly fade away. They might not have had a fairy tale ending, but their love story, with its bittersweet symphony of joy, pain, separation, and reunion, had taught her the true meaning of love, a love that endured, a love that transcended time and distance, a love that would forever hold a special place in her heart. And in the quiet corners of her heart, she knew that Jack would always be her what if, her almost, a reminder that sometimes the greatest love stories are the ones that are never fully written.